Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson nine. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue solving problems involving mixed measurements. Only this time, we're gonna focus on time. It's all about time. So let's get started. So we're gonna be adding and subtracting. And then we're gonna start off with some really simple ones, nothing, nothing overly fancy. So let's start with question E. It says 31 seconds plus 29 seconds. Well, we have like units, so we can add those together and that gives us 60 seconds. And well, we know that 60 seconds equals one minute, so we're done, one minute. That's pretty straightforward. Now here, uh, this happens to be question F, a little less simple. Uh, the idea is to subtract, but we have five minutes and uh, it says to subtract 15 seconds. So we do not have like units. We have mixed measurements here, don't we? And so what we're going to do is we're going to take that five minutes and we're going to break it up into four minutes and 60 seconds. Now we can subtract the 15 seconds and when we subtract the 15 seconds from the 60 seconds that's going to give us 45 seconds and then we have the four minutes left over and so our answer is four minutes and 45 seconds these are the same, only just a little bit more difficult when they're really mixing our, our units here, our measurements. So let's take a look at question B, because that's a nice fancy one. So question B says, we've got three hours, 15 minutes, plus five hours, 55 minutes. So we have some like units. We have three hours plus five hours. That gives us eight hours. Then we have 15 minutes plus 55 minutes, so that gives us 70 minutes. And we need to know that 70 minutes is really one hour plus 10 minutes. So parents and teachers, I kind of did a little skipping of a step there. So heads up, you might need to pay attention to your students and, and you know check for understanding there. But now we have eight hours plus one hour, so that gives us nine hours, and we have those 10 minutes left over, so we have nine hours and 10 minutes. All right, so that was an addition. So let's take a look at subtraction. Oh, we could do, let's do F. So F is saying, we have 22 minutes, 37 seconds, take away five minutes, 58 seconds. Well. We have enough minutes to take away five minutes, but we don't have enough seconds to take away 58 seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that 22 minutes and we're gonna decompose it to 21 minutes plus 60 seconds. And then we could take the 60 seconds and add it to the 37 seconds that we already have and that gives us 97 seconds. And we still have those 21 minutes up in the front. Now we're ready to subtract our five minutes, 58 seconds. So 21 minutes take away five minutes gives us 16 minutes. And then 97 seconds take away 58 seconds. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. So let's subtract. 97 minus 58 gives me 39 seconds. And there we go. 16 minutes, 39 seconds. We could do others, but they're all basically the exact same thing. We're either going to be adding units or we're going to be subtracting units paying attention that when we subtract, we might have to do some regrouping like we did here. So now we have a nice little word problem. It says, it took five minutes, 34 seconds for Melissa's oven to preheat to 350 degrees. So that seems pretty important. So let's underline that. It was another 
no, it was 27 seconds slower than it took Ryan's oven to preheat to the same temperature. So that 27 seconds seems to be important. How long did it take Ryan's oven to preheat? So we have two characters. We have Melissa and we have Ryan. Now Melissa, and we're going to give them both the exact same length here of a uh, tape diagram. Now Melissa is 5 minutes 34 seconds. And that th 5 minutes 34 seconds is 27 seconds slower than Ryan's. So Ryan's we need to kind of chop off by 27 seconds because his tape diagram should be a little shorter. It should be shorter by 27 seconds. And now the question is, how long did it take uh, Ryan's oven to preheat? So the big question is, what is this length right here? So we're going to take 5 minutes 34 seconds, and we're going to subtract 27 seconds. So 5 minutes, 5 minutes 34 seconds, subtract 27 seconds. Well, this is pretty straightforward because we're supposed to subtract 27 seconds and we have enough seconds to subtract. So that's good. So that works out. And we don't have any minutes to subtract. So the minutes is still going to be 5 minutes. But the 34 seconds minus 27 seconds gives us 7 seconds. And so that is our answer for Ryan. Ryan's oven took five minutes and third uh, five minutes and seven seconds to preheat up to 350 degrees the last one's easy it's just long it says Joanna read three books her goal was to finish all three books in a total of seven hours she completed them in and it's, the word respectively means she um, she completed the three books in order, and the first book took this long, the second book took this long, and the third book took that long. That's what the word respectively means. So the question is, did she meet her goal? So we have to, we have to add them up to figure it out. So we're going to have to add, uh, let's see, 2 hours, 37 minutes, plus... 3 hours, 9 minutes, plus 1 hour, 51 minutes. Oh my goodness. So we have to add all of those up. So let's start by adding the hours. 2 hours plus 3 hours plus 1 hour. That's going to give us 6 hours. Plus... So now let's let's add the minutes. So we've got 37 plus 9 plus 51. Well, that's kind of easy, actually, because I'm going to look. Look at this. 50, uh, 9 minutes plus 51 minutes, that's 60 minutes. So that gives us an hour. 60 minutes plus we have that remaining 37 minutes left over. So let's put that there. So all together, 6 hours plus 60 minutes, that's 7 hours, and we have 37 minutes. So did Joanna meet her goal of reading them in 7 hours? Nope. She missed it by 37 minutes. Now it says here, Joanna completed the two shortest books in one evening. How long did she spend reading that that evening? So we need to re, uh, add the two shorter books. So that's going to be 2 hours, 37 minutes, plus 1 hour, 51 minutes. So we're going to add the hours. That gives us 3 hours. We're going to add the minutes. That gives us 88 minutes. But 88 minutes is really 60 minutes and 28 minutes. So that 60 minutes is an hour. 
So that actually gives us an answer of, and let's do it right here, 4 hours 28 minutes to read her two shorter books. Now the question is, with, with her goal in mind of 7 hours, how long did that leave her to read that third book? So the idea would be, if we know we wanted seven hours, seven hours, but we used so far four hours, 28 minutes, the question is, how much time did we have left over? And in order to do that, we're going to subtract these two. So we're going to do seven hours... subtract 4 hours 28 minutes. Alright, well, we don't have any minutes over here, but we're supposed to subtract 28 minutes, so let's do some regrouping. So that's going to be 6 hours and 60 minutes, and we're going to take away 4 hours and 28 minutes. So, take 6 hours minus 4 hours, that gives us 2 hours. Take 60 minutes, take away 28 minutes, that's 32 minutes. And so, all together, she left, she was left with 2 hours and 32 minutes in order to read that last book. And she didn't quite make it. And that's okay, I'm sure it was a good book anyway. So that is a big lot. Boy, look at all that work. That's a lot of work going on there. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 7, Lesson 9, Solving Problems Involving Mixed Units of Time.